It is a half mile road leading hundreds of drivers to their homes, but the hunt for who's responsible took more turns than the road itself. After a seven month long investigation, Count on Two's Rebecca Collette finally got the answer. Every time David Largent leaves his home, he thinks the worst. Just hoping that when someone comes around that turn, they're going to be in their lane because the road is just too narrow with the ruts and it needs to be marked. He lives at the end of Rivers Reach Drive, a road off Clements Ferry serving hundreds of people. He called Colette back in February, frustrated when no one could ID who's responsible for restriping the road or filling in these ruts. Using this road is the only way out. <laughs> When I started digging, I learned the owner was a mystery. I asked Berkeley County, the city of Charleston, and D.R. Horton, who developed neighborhoods on each side of the road. No one claimed responsibility. It appeared to be a dead end until our story piqued the curiosity of the city's attorney, Chip McQueenie. Don't like unsolved problems. I kind of started looking into it a little bit deeper. This is his file on the road. The last month, the city hired a title abstractor to trace the history. The search landed on D.R. Horton, but there's a catch. Now that doesn't mean they have a duty to maintain it necessarily if it's used for subdivision purposes. See, the builder owns the land, but because so many different people use it, there's not one party responsible for upkeep. A road overhaul is needed before either Berkeley County or the city would accept it into their maintenance system. System. McQueenie sent his findings to DR Horton. I know that they're they want to um, sit down and discuss this or their attorney has said that so um, I would expect that to happen within the next few days. So after seven months of waiting for our investigation, David is optimistic. I have a little bit of hope now whereas before I contacted you there was no hope. I mean I didn't know what direction to go in. McQueenie expects to start talks with DR Horton to determine if the builder will bring the road up to standards in the coming days, but there's a catch. Because the road isn't annexed into the city of Charleston, they have no legal authority to enforce any improvements. And Berkeley County tells me they abandoned all interest in this road years ago. Rebecca Collette, count on two.